Hello YouTubers, DJs, vinyl enthusiasts, record collectors, whatever. Um, shout out to DJTutor.com, Funky Rob here in my silly hat. Probably the only silly hat I have. Probably the only hat I have. Anyhow, something that I've noticed um, is there seems to be a lack of tutorials out there on how to convert your vinyl collection to mp3 um, I used to have tons and tons of records um, these shelves here um, that's pretty much my vinyl now but these shelves used to be about four or five high just full and full of records this blank wall used to be all vinyl a few years back when um, Excuse me. Back when Final Scratch was first introduced, um, that happened around the same time when I started to notice that I'm getting kind of old, um, carrying like ten crates of records, maybe eight, nine, some on the floor. Um, it was getting pretty hard. So um, it was kind of a lifesaver for me. Uh, since then, I've upgraded various forms of um, Final Scratch when they first came out and uh, now I'm using Tractor Scratch and still converting my vinyl the same way. Um, this also works for guys using Serato, um, even somebody who maybe just has a, an old record. Let me find one. What's one that I don't have? Um, let's look down here. Okay, uh, the head's kind of so let me take it off. Um, what's one that I don't have? Here you go. How about Club Nouveau? The Why You Treat Me So Bad 12 inch. Um, I do get a lot of my new stuff on iTunes and then convert them to CD and then rip them to MP3, which uh, is time consuming. But some of these extended 12 inches, you just can't get anymore. You can't buy the digital version. And this cost me $2.99 at Amiibo Records in San Francisco. So um, I'm going to show you how to use Audacity, a free program, the regular turntable and a mixer, into a laptop. So here it goes. Using an older MacBook, which is now kind of uh, obsolete. Where's my application? Now, normally I use a program called uh, uh, Peak LE. Um, it's $99 at where else but Guitar Center. But uh, maybe you don't have $99. So there's a free program out there called Audacity. And uh, it works pretty much the same way. Applications. Maybe you can see this. Audacity and Audacity app. Okay, what you need now, from my understanding, a record player by itself, turntable techniques, whatever, any brand you got, um, just apparently doesn't have enough audio audio output. So, what you need. If you're a DJ and you got a vinyl collection, you obviously already have a mixer. Almost every mixer out there, from my uh, my $300 Newmark, um, this one actually has three outputs: one for the main, one for the booth if you have like um, monitors or something, and one to record. Even. Uh, my little cheapo $75 mixer over here has uh, two outputs, one for master, one for record. So you're going to always have an extra output. So you just need a normal RCA to little um, thingy plug, stereo. And plug that in to your input. Um, every laptop has one of these. 
Um, if you have a desktop, I'm sure you've got uh, got one too. So plug that into the input, and this to my record output. Oops. Okay, so let's see. When I first started off, I was just doing like the main versions that I thought were most important to me. Uh, this one's got Ultimate Nouveau Mix at 906, LP version 507, um, the Club Mix, 7 minutes and 47 seconds, and the Radio Edit at 533. Um, I will just uh, record the Ultimate Nouveau Mix. I've actually never listened to this record yet. Of course, uh, you know, this song is famous for being sampled by... Uh, I got five on it, and uh, then Papa Diddy, or whatever the hell his name is these days, he uh, sampled it too in his song. Uh, something, I forget what it's called, he did it with R. Kelly. Something that uh, I find very important is you got to keep your vinyl clean if you want it to sound nice. Something I highly recommend is a little product called Groove Glide. It's about uh, a fortune for a little can like this, but it comes with the little uh, adapter thingy, like a cleaning pad, and I can't seem to find mine. And it's the best record cleaner I've ever come across. Um, I used to use one that I got from Radio Shack, but it would leave like a film. Though it cleaned the heck out of the record, it would make like a like a weird mess when you put your vinyl back in its sleeve. Okay, go watch the new test. Okay, here you go. So. Turn on my stuff. Oh, it is on. Power. And power. Something that I do on my mixer when I'm recording my vinyl to mp3 as I put the bass up just a tiny bit and the treble about just the same uh, it can come out a little flat if you don't and just a little needle off let's see what it sounds like oh the amp's not on Okay, all these programs kind of work the same. Um, default input source would be the, like whatever sound card it is. Now we don't want the microphone to record me. And I don't think it will, hopefully. Let's see our little... Uh... Oh, let's try it. You always want to make sure the levels are... not too high. tells me that's too high. Look how high them numbers are. You can always boost it up later. So let's stop it. And go back to the beginning. 